Hey, what's up you guys? It's me, Jasmine, aka Shorty the Screamer, and I am filming this off my brand new MacBook Pro. But yeah, my first video I'm gonna make is the review on this here phone right to the rim. So I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of things, and they are Go Launcher and Go Locker, Go SMS Pro and Transitions. Alrighty, so I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, please, if it's anything that you want to ask me afterwards, inbox me or comment below and I will help you out. And it will be a part two of this video, I promise, because there's a lot more other things that I have to show you guys. So thanks for watching. Bye. Alright, you guys, this is the Go Launcher right here. And what you want to do is hit the menu button at the bottom of your phone. You want to go to the Play Store app. And then what you want to do is go to the top and search for Go Launcher EX. Once you find Go Launcher, you press the app and then you install it. See, I can't really install it because it's already on my screen. But if you pull it down at the bottom, you can press it and then it'll open. But it's on my home screen, so I can't do nothing. Now to activate it and change your theme, you can go to the Go Store. And then once you go to the Go Store, you can see the different things and the other things that they have that have to do with like Go Launcher and Go Locker and everything. So then you just go to the Themes button at the bottom. And then you see how they have all the different types of themes and everything. You know, they're really, really cute. I most of the time use the fantasy one because that's actually my favorite. To get mostly free apps, you just got to slide to the hot one because the hot one is like the best to me because they're most of the time like free. So I'm just going to pick the first one, easiest. And then you just install it and you can slide it over so you can view the different screens to the thing that you want. And then after that, you just hit install, accept and download. You can see the storage and the network communication. And then you just wait a moment. Now it's gonna take a second on mine because I already have actually a lot more on my phone. So it's kind of like just packing in more, more data and everything. So let's just wait. Let's see how long this actually takes. Wow, this is taking so long. <laughs> so when it is finished, only thing you do is you can either press open or put on the notification bar that comes at the top of your phone. And so just press it and then just press OK. It's nothing like wrong or anything. Just press OK. And then you just got to wait a second. And there you go and you see how everything has changed and you can put your own little customizations to it the bottom has changed like the little menu button and everything it's really nice I really enjoy it even your menu screen has changed completely to its own little icons I really like go launcher because you can put your own twist onto it thanks bye Alright you guys, this is my Go Locker and I'm going to show you how I got it. So first what you want to do is you know you want to hit the menu button and then you want to go to your Play Store just like how you started off with the Go Launcher, same thing. So then after that, mine was already on it, but the only thing I have to do is search Go Locker. And then what you do is obviously you know you install it and everything and after you do it, you go to the menu button at the bottom of your phone. And so, after you press that, you go to themes. So, once you wait, make sure that it's on locker and not launcher, because obviously they're two different things. You can check it out or whatever, but then the only thing you have to do is just slide it to see your installed ones that you already might have on there. Well, if it's your first time, though, obviously you won't have any. 
but I really don't use the ones that first pop up, so I just scroll all the way down, and then I go to get more things because that's where you can access like the um the hot ones, so you can get the most like free things and stuff again. So once that loads up, just go to hot for free locker things, and you can scroll down and look around and everything. I'm actually trying to find a new locker because I don't have a lot and I just want to see which ones that they have since they keep notifying me telling me how they have new locker things and everything so just gonna look around sorry um and then I'm trying to figure out which one that might be free because sometimes they're free and sometimes they're not and they haven't been saying if they're free or not so I'm just one, trying to look. Two, I'm gonna, four, one, yeah, I'll, go. two, I'll pick three, that one. Four, one so the lovely three, cat one, four, it's really cute. Two, three, just like how the go launcher is. You can look at it and see how it looks. You just gotta press install and then accept and download. And then after you do that, you just wait for your download. This one shouldn't take as long as the launcher did because it's not that really like big of a deal. Um, <clears throat> after it installs, you just press open. And then, just wait a second, this won't happen to you, so it'll take you back to the screen, make sure it's on locker, and then only thing you have to do is slide it to the right, and then installed, like how I showed you in the beginning, and then press the one that you just installed, <clears throat> check it out, and then press apply. And then once it says use, you can lock it. Sometimes it takes a second for the phone to catch on that it has a new locker thing. So if the previous screen pops up again, don't worry. But yeah, that's the one right there that I just installed. It's really cute. And so as you can see, you can view the camera, the messages, the home, the phone. You gotta drag it to which one and then it'll take you. And then, you know, just pop it up like that and that's it. Alright you guys, this is my Go SMS Pro. It's a thing, it's an app and it's a um, text messaging app that I installed on my phone. I really like it and I'm gonna show you how I got it. You go to menu and then you go to the play store, like how we've been doing this whole dang video. <laughs> then you're gonna search Go SMS Pro. Kinda slow with typing it in today, sorry. Once you type it in, or it automatically pops up, you pick the very first one. All of these apps are free, by the way. So, then after that, you want to press open after you install it and everything. Mine is already installed, so I didn't have to do it, obviously. So, then it takes you to that. It won't look directly like that. And it's something, when you are about to click off or, like, go to your home screen or whatever, this message will pop up and say, do you want to do this by using the Go SMS Pro? Or the regular messaging make sure you check that box that says go SMS Pro so every single time you text it'll look just like that when you come back it won't look like how mine look like I just said it'll look way different it'll look way more plainer and you can put different customizations on it um, and also you can assign ringtones to people but that'll be in a whole other video but yeah I'm gonna show you how I got my go SMS Pro to look like this you hit the menu button at the bottom of your phone and then the little menu is gonna pop up and then you just select theme and then after you select theme it'll take you to like this little window and it's gonna show you all the different things and then once you select the one that you want it goes straight to installed and then that'll be that and I'm not gonna get one but as you can see that's how everything looks and that is basically it with the Go SMS Pro thanks Last but not least, we want to talk about transitions, and I'm going to show you how I got my Go Launcher to look like this, and how I got my menu screen to look like that. And um, first thing you do, you have to find a blank page. So you can just hit down on it. You're going to go to Effect. And when you go to Effect, they have like the different ways how your screen can transist. Just going to pick Cube right there, and you can see 
how it changed the way how it all moves and everything and then I'm gonna pick another one and you see the way how it changes and it's really nice and everything it's just straight to the point it's a lot to choose from that one is one of my favorites actually <laughs> And then only thing you have to do is press the home button and then it'll just do it automatically and it's really nice and it goes really well. The windmill is the one that actually kind of messes up. But now when you go to your menu, um, you just hit the settings and then once you hit the settings, it'll take you to this screen. And the only thing you have to do is just scroll down and then you see the horizontal transition and then you hit the one that you actually want. And then I'm actually going to pick cube inside and then enter transition. So when you open it up, how it'll look. And then I'm just going to pick zoom. And then once I go back, you can see how it has changed to that. And then um, how it exits and everything. So yeah, that's basically it. That's the way how I did it. Thanks for watching. Bye.